Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick video of feeding the axolotl some bloodworms so you guys can see. So you get about that much in some feeding times. And then he'll come up to it and he just takes it and then you let go. And I'll just do it a couple more times just to make sure that his little belly is full. See if he wants some more. I already fed him a few bites before I turn this on. So he might not want too, too much more. Mmm. He likes that, huh? When I'm done feeding, I just um, suck the rest of them out of his container. you go. Big bite. Sorry, guys. I'm just waiting for the rest to defrost. And we'll try this. See if he wants some more. As you can see, some of them are actually just falling, so they're not really, he's not really getting too, too much. Because he doesn't know how to eat them completely yet. Ooh. Having a nice, good dinner, huh, oh, baby? His name's not Baby, I'll, I'll buy it away, just so you guys know. Because <laughs> that might be a few questions. I will be doing a name reveal, though, soon. Don't mind the kids screaming upstairs, they're having fun. pick up a little bit off the floor and see if he wants it if I put it in front of him because they can't see very well guys so I'm just gonna see sometimes he'll back away if he's done and I don't know if you guys just seen that but he spits them out so he's definitely done so now what I'm gonna do is get this handy dandy turkey racer <laughs> And I'm just gonna suck them up that way they're not in the water bothering him or you know causing any yuckiness in his water and then I had to empty this into a little water bottle just give me one second So, I've been saving my empty water bottles to put the old food in, just so, you know, we're using them. Just so I can suck it right out and put it into the water bottle. And I'll show you guys in a minute. You can tell his belly is so full right now. Right, Ryan? Yeah. <laughs> I did not know you can use that to suck up blood worms. Yeah, just so they're not in his tank. Taking up room. Easiest way to do it, guys. This is also a good way to take out poop. But obviously, I use a different one. And guys, I bought two coconut shells for um their hides, actually. I'm dieting and they're like the best seven dollars I've spent because that's his favorite little thing I see one over here and I'm just spot cleaning right now guys I know it's not too interesting but it's 
It's like a vacuum for the floor. And that's it. And then I'll just, again, use the turkey baster to take it out of here. I'm not sure if you can reuse worms after you unthaw them, so I don't because I don't want to get my baby sick. And that's it. Now his little belly is full and I'll give you guys a close-up look of this. That's all the blood worms that he didn't eat which is good that means he ate a good amount because it was a whole cube that I had defrosted. Um, I might just start defrosting about a half a cube just because both feedings he only ate about a half. One second guys. You can see his belly is full um, the cool thing about the leucistics is that you could kind of see through them and you can tell that his belly's full. By the way, guys, he doesn't have a light above him. It's actually inside his tank that's going to be set up soon. So, and I have the plants right here kind of blocking it. But I do shut off my bedroom light at all times, too. And then he has coconut and thermometer and another thermometer just so I make sure that I can get it accurate. And it stays pretty much at... 68 or below so that's him he looks kind of big on camera but it's funny he's literally as long as my finger and my fingers are not big if anybody knows me i have small hands <laughs> but that's my baby